So next we have um, Jean-Christophe Carrias and Chloe Pochon, um, who are gonna speak to us a bit about annotation uh, to scientific publishing as a part of our continuing conversations today. So. This presentation covers a series of experiments related to annotations that were carried out by the French National Institute for Art History within the frame of various research projects. INHA, the French National Institute for Art History, was established to consolidate and promote research in art history and heritage studies. It is structured around two main activities, studies and research, and library and resources. The High NHA Library and Resources Department combines several historical collections and continuously augments them. Its digital library offers access to di digitized archives, manuscripts, drawings, prints, printed materials, as well as photographs. The library collection comprises a significant number of visual sources due to its specialization in art history. This autograph letter, signed by French painter Félix Buot, which is composed of unwritten text, drawing, and print, demonstrates the INHA Library's inherent focus on sources that share both visual and textual elements. You could call it a text-visual document. The collection of INHA as well are composite, as is this document. In 2020, INHA began developing the PANS platform. PANS is an acronym for Platform d'édition numérique de sources enrichies, or Digital Editions Platform of Enriched Sources, if translated literally. The word PANS also means think in French. The PANS project focuses on methodological exploration and is being carried out using agile methods and design thinking. The project is based on a concept of digital archiving box, meaning creating a digital unit that offers source digitization and related scientific information produced by INHA. Mm. Okay. I take the risk to have some to do some demo. Okay, nice. Triple IF not only enables zooming in and out of high definition images, but also allows for the programmatic generation of thumbnails, which can be used to develop corpus visualization. This, this visualization there are generated representation. Different corpora can be compared in this way. This project the Barif paper is a pilot project of the PANS platform. It consists of mainly of a textual corpus comprising letters and documents related to life and work of the sculptor Antoine Louis Barry. The corpus visualization provides a unique, global, and direct access to the reproduction of the entire corpus. And the outcome of the enriching and publishing process, we have the implemented the digital archiving box that integrates all the scientific data collected and produced by INSA researchers. So this is the example of the uh, digital archiving box uh, where, where you can uh, find, filter, research inside uh, the transcription, inside the metadata of the document, etc. Okay, back to the presentation. Organizing a data model is essential for mastering scientific data set. This scheme has been designed to represent the different levels of data and metadata that can enrich a source following the way transcription applications such as Transcribus currently works. I, I don't go the details, but this is the work we have done in order to organize all the different level of metadata that can uh, enrich a source. Current unwritten text recognition technology rely on document segmentation, which involves identifying regions within an image. 
each region can be categorized by typologies and qualified semantically. The coordinates of the region and the data assigned to it serve as a form of structural annotation to, for the document. During the process of enriching uh, Paris paper, we created something that doesn't appear, so this is the demo effect. We created an interface that enables researchers to review the segmentation operation and assess their collaborative effort. Try again. Yes, it is. So this is the little interface we have uh, created in order to have some kind of uh, distant viewing on the work of the, of the researcher du during the process. Throughout the source enrichment process, data is collected in various formats. XML with EAD, METS, ALTO, TEI, JSON, IIIF, and even CSV for research data produced by researchers. To navigate technologically this workflow with ease, it is crucial for us to use a database solution that can process XML, JSON, and CSV equally. We use the open source software basics to obtain a searchable corpus of database with structured searchable data connected to the digitization through structural annotation. So this is an example of interface where you can find the data uh, in TEI, where there is the description in TEI of the graphic and the surface, and you have the description of the transcriptions and entities that have been uh, encoded, and you can have some direct uh, query inside the, the corpus in this way, so you have a kind of database of, uh, of data uh, enriched. After initiating the Barry project, we decided to confront this process to mainly visual document. The aim was to explore what it means to enrich images. Following this purpose, we selected from the Ainasha Library a collection of drawings created by the decorator Adrian Karbowski. The main sources for the Karbowski project are 31 drawings depicting Jacques Doucet private mansion, which, has, which was dedicated to the, his, his, his 18th century art collection. The documents are accompanied by an extract from an Ainasha database containing data on the object formerly owned by Doucet. The structural annotation involves identifying the different region of object and object groups in the drawings. Each object is identified by its reference number in the database. Group of objects are delineated as regions to encode the group contextual information. The result is a searchable relational database bringing fragments together. The wall is contextualized by document topography and annotated with entries data. The interface serves as an efficient search and classification tool for researchers. So the, all the fragments form a database where we can uh, search for uh, information. And we have uh, a little entry data uh, in, inside. And you can find for each uh, local categorization, uh, each object. For the publishing rendering, we aim to implement the searchable database of annotated fragments directly in the viewer. We created a tool to navigate through the various rooms and blocks together all the sources related to the same room. Short descri description of each room's object appear when hovering over it. So this is the enter in the Grand Salon. The Grand, the grand Salon have four drawings for describing each uh, face. You can have the data in the annotation. Uh, and I, when you click, you have the, the entry. Each drawing containing a fragment has a filter and search menu there, where you can, this makes the image function as a database showing the highlighted result in a direct way. Even if you make some research, for example, I'm going to, you will have the result in the, in the image. Fin oh. Finally, 
we couldn't resist the temptation to try out the annotation storytelling by creating a slideshow that navigates through a selection of commented source. So this is another way to use uh, the annotation uh, done by the, the researcher. One challenge of the project, I pense, is to explore scientific editorial publishing in relationship with source enrichment. The PONS platform seeks to publish scholarly articles that are composed of paragraphs, data sets, and visualization going beyond the dissemination of digitization and its data sets. This innovative publication format can be seen as a new digital form of text visual document. As a first step on this path of exploration, Three short articles have been written by researchers in the Baris Papers edition. So we have, we have three, um, three trials. Each selection is based on a set of documents chosen to eliminate a specific theme. We tested a layout that displays and links the selection and three reading levels. One, the source content, two, its transcription, uh, three, its interpretation. So this is the interpretation. Inside you have some uh, icons that uh, are uh, referring to a special document. If I click, the, the document from the selection appears. And when, uh, when this you have the sources, you will have to the transcription. So this is the three levels, the sources, the transcription, and its interpretation. Further development should follow this initial trial. Our aim with the Karboski edition was to incorporate annotated sources into a scholarly article published on the Open Edition book platform. Open Edition is a digital infrastructure for academic uh, communication in the humanities and social sciences with a structured and rigorous data model and publishing process, but it may not be very adaptable. As such, we have experimented with unbending a EEF viewer into an article similar to embedding a remote video player in a web page uh, with an iframe. E so we have used the old solution, web solution of embedding a triple EF uh, player in uh, open edition with an iframe. E e this solution may appear obvious in the light of established web practices. However, it can be as a path of innovation in the academic publishing environment. It introduces the principle of an enriched object incorporated into research articles. The quality of its data structure gives it the value of scholarly content that can be indexed, searchable, verifiable, and reproducible. The PONS platform currently has four on, uh, ongoing projects. The first two aim to confirm the findings of our Barry and Karbowski experiences. The following two projects are leading us toward multimodal uh, annotations. The first project involves Jack Doucet letters to his librarian, which, like Barry's paper, is primarily textual. The second project involves an album of drawings of antique paintings, which, like Karbowski drawings, is primarily visual. The third project is an, ar an archive of archaeological travel itineraries which is both textual and spatial, providing the opportunities to annotate digital maps. And the fourth project is a topographic reconstruction of archaeological excavation, which is textual, spatial, because it has archi architectural and land registry plans, three-dimensional with sculptor's photogrammetries, and audiovisual because of the presence of a TV documentary. And last but not least, there's a major project recently launched at INHA to investigate the opportunities of annotation-based research and scientific publication, which my colleague Chloé Pochon is going to introduce to you. Thanks, Jean-Christophe. And yes, um, I'm going to introduce to you the Pervision Project, a newborn project recipient of the National uh, Fund for Open Science 2023. But at first, we have to mention the context that led to its birth and understand how previous innovations developed for annotations live live through uh, scientific publishing and how it could be incorporated into this world. So ENHS, so the National Institute of Art History, also has a, a scientific journal incubator 
de visu set up by uh, the Invisu Research Unit, the uh, National Center for Scientific Research and INHA Research Support Unit. We are going to take a step uh, to the side to look uh, at the context of scientific publishing in France and put the visu back in it. In France, the scientific uh, context, publishing context in the field of uh, human and social sciences benefits from the Commons project, which brings together three leading uh, French infrastructure uh, in the field of human and social sciences. Uh, METOP, which aim is to provide a set of tools and methods for building up structured editorial collections and ensuring the dissemination of editorial products in support of the open access. Humanum, which the main mission is to build a world-class digital infrastructure for the social sciences and humanities, and Open Edition, a portal for electronic resources in the humanities and social sciences, especially Open Edition book and Open Edition journals. Uh, the Common envi uh, Environment is intended to cover uh, the entire knowledge production chain from the creation of data to its uh, sharing in the public sphere. It will help, help to improve the conditions for producing research in the social sciences and humanities and encourage the discussion and comparison of research uh, results, guaranteeing respect for scientific integrity. And then, uh, the Open Edition, uh, Humanum, and uh, Metop have joined uh, forces uh, to advance the open science dynamic around three axes, making data fair, opening up publications and data, and increasing the skills of producer, producers and users. It is in this publishing context that the Invisu team, through the Devisu uh, Journal Incubator, is helping the journal it hosts, uh, Photographica, Archi Architecture Beyond Europe journals, Mod Pratique, and now uh, Histoire de l'Art, to move towards the diamond model, so a, mo uh, a model of open access journals that do not charge APSC, so articles processing charges, uh, with a view to aligning with the Quero criteria, which provide a recommendation for the quality of scientific journals and uh, in an open science context. Uh, the incubator leaves a large place to iconographic documentation and the need of author to be able to publish this documentation with uh, its critical apparatus has led to a reflection on the publication of images and the use of AAAF technologies. New needs uh, were identified in terms of publication of images treated as the very heart of the scientific demonstrations and no longer as mere illustration. In fact, this project have converged thanks to the common need expressed by the scientific community to give birth to the Pervision project. There have already been phase of experimentation around the integration of AAAF potentiality into uh, editorial chains. And other thought experiments aimed at documenting the creation of a AAAF server under Omega S or the integration of images hosted in on a AAAF server in article published with Lodel. There is also a phase of experimentation by researchers publishing in the incubator so that Pervisum could better identify and respond to needs. We are experimenting with different forms of publishing, thanks in particular to Eche Zerman, who produced a work entitled The Documented Gaze or Le Regard Documenté in French, combining image annotations, visual tours, and audio discourses. The overall aim uh, of Pervisum is to provide an innovative editorial system and methodology for the publication of visual scientific articles and structured commentary uh, data on digitized sources. From a theoretical point of view, the aim is to carry out an experimental study of new forms of image-based editing of scientific articles. Research and experimentation will be carried out in collaboration with scientific author and publisher in order to define the contour of a visual textual publishing principle in an interactive, static, and printed dimensions. From a practical point of view, the project involves an experimental study of new forms of image-based publishing of scientific articles and should lead to the creation of a tool of generating triple AF manifest to enable an editor to organize in sequences uh, a set of visuals, annotations, and data with the aim of composing the visual digital editorialization of scientific content. And to sum up, the aim is 
is to use the image and its annotations as a basis uh, of for creating a scientific article complete with critical apparatus such as headings, transitions, and bibliographical reference, all of it combined in a JSON manifest. Parvisum aims to enhance the tool environments and service offering of the Metop national infrastructure for public scientific publishing. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot for the presentation. It's just great projects that are going on currently at the NSR, and we are glad as art historian about what's happening. Uh, I was wondering about Pervisum. Uh, you, you explained uh, that you were planning to develop uh, a JSON uh, manifest. I was wondering why you made this choice, as most of the publication on the uh, digital edition platform are in XML, and especially XML TI for uh, open edition. Uh, what justifies the choice of JSON to express uh, the manifest as it could be uh, explained, expressed in XML and transformed for JSON? Um, uh, the JSON has to uh, um, be joined with the uh, editorial chain of Metop. So, uh, uh, now we are uh, um, making reflection about uh, the final format. Uh, for now, it's mainly uh, we are choosing mainly the JSON format because of the JSON manifest and the uh, web data annotation model, which is a standard. But uh, I think we have we 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 have to um, we should have other discussions uh, with Metop, especially to uh, know uh, which. Uh, which kind of file they are uh, uh, attending, if it's JSON and if, uh, if it's XML. Um, and I will add that uh, it's a constant exchange between ENHR and Metop, and uh, we are going to um, uh, give them JSON, and uh, we are also going um, experiencing with their own uh, XML uh, file. Is, is the first the project is very impressive from digitization to triple IF to markup to communication through scholarly publishing with an incredible website and public humanities presentation behind it. How long did that take? Like, what is the pipeline for a project at, like that? Um, so, it's a platform, so we developed all yeah. the projects parallelly. Approximately, for uh, Papier Barry, uh, it was two two years, and uh, maybe two years too for for Karboski. But it was the beginning. Now we are going faster because we have found the uh, recipes or the, the path. Okay. So that, uh, two years approximately. And how many people are involved? Uh, as researchers, there uh, was. In Papier Barry, uh, f f four, four people. Okay. Engineering, uh, there was uh, ju just me at full time. Okay. And I think it, that's it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> no, maybe it's impressive, but it's just web. Uh, I think it, it, it could be impressive if you, you consider it as a software or something like that, but it, we have a, a process, a web process, so we are making web with web technologies, so they are very agile, very, what is very important is the fact that we have, we are working on XML native, uh, yeah. so we are in a 
kind of uh, bass of XML data, JSON, CSV, and we can jungle with this. And yeah. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the presentation. Uh, I, I was wondering also um, how, how it is possible for a researcher outside of the ENHR to use uh, this interface and uh, all the different uh, tools uh, that you have developed. Yes, uh, th that was what I was saying. We are not in position to produce tools, really. We, we can produce methodology, we can produce examples, we can produce uh, ways of doing, we can share this, and we have a lot of knowledge n now with that. After, I think that if your project is, uh, well, if Ayinasha is part of your project, we can use the platform, uh, meaning uh, working with us directly, etc. For the moment, that's it. We tried, uh, in fact, I tried to make a, a tools to, uh, to make an outcome as a tools, but I, uh, it, was, it is very difficult to take something like this and make it generic. Very, very difficult. Maybe at least, uh, if I can add something from an institutional point of view, uh, there is a reflection ongoing uh, at the INHR uh, to open uh, the call for projects uh, from PANS uh, uh, edition outside the institution. This year, we launched the already um, a call for project for internal projects that uh, applied and uh, are were the, the work uh, still going on presented by Jean Christophe but I think that in the next years we will definitely open to partners and uh, other institutions to add other project You understood I'm a, a big fan about what they are doing, but I, I, I would add something. I think what is the more interesting within the project is the design approach, design thinking approach. So that means, in a way, it can be uh, the opposite of uh, a standardized way of building tools. And so that's a choice. I think it, it, it gives something very interesting. Thank you. Well, I, at that, I think we're gonna move on here, but I just wanna note that I think, uh, I would give one more pitch for making the code open so we can all play around with it as well. In the, so, uh, you know, just a little pitch on that one. So thank you all so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.